drop the bass. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yo, what's up, guys? This is Chris from Ace First Class, and today, you know, we're gonna be reviewing a little game that came out very recently. It's more popular. You might know it. This game is known for stealth, and it's not called Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Let's get into this review. Alright, so first of all, what we're gonna get into is this game is not running gun, it is cover based, and you're gonna take lots of cover and you will have to take tactical steps such as throwing idea. sensors that way you can detect where your enemies are how many of them there are and what order to kill them in the cinematics in the game are very nice the, they transition from gameplay to the cinematic very fluidly I do notice some fidgets here and there and glitches but you know, you're still into the game and it doesn't take much away from it. The other things that I do notice is the textures and graphics. They are great. You can see every little detail into the graphics and the fluidness along with the audio which we'll get more in depth with here in just a sec. It's just nice how they designed a nice fluid graphic system also with the gameplay like the customization of sounds where you can hear the explosions you can hear your footsteps every bullet every step through either bush or water or anything you can hear the dirt crumble right above you it is a phenomenal audio along with the dialogue it is awesome along with the pretty explosions of course you gotta have beautiful explosions. The HUD in the game is very nice. It allows a counter to hover right to the right of your gun. And you can see everything. <laughs> you can see the amount of bullets, the grenades. You also unlock achievements in this game, which is really good. You can unlock uh, you play actions and achievements along with trophies, boosting your gamer score. Your weapon customization is awesome. Along with plenty of guns, you get an awesome weapon customization. You can spread the gun apart and make it customizable from the springs, the triggers, the grip, of course the iron sights, that's in most games though. But you can design the triggers, the clips, the springs, which is awesome. I do notice some render pop in the game, which sort of takes away from it because it gets really annoying and sometimes it'll freeze for a second and have to wait through another loading screen. It takes you out of the action. You can see it right here, but it doesn't freeze because I wanted it to be smooth, so I chose a different part. As far as gameplay is concerned, this game is simple and awesome. The stealth in the game is easy. All you do is crouch and you're in stealth. The counter for the game is you can have three you have three team members. You can target four enemies. You're gonna take out one of the four enemies and the other three will take them out simultaneously as you do. This is gonna be demonstrated right here. And bang. Alright. Well, you can see that. As along with the enemy AI, it's not the greatest. It's uh, they're sort of clumsy at certain times, but they do work with the game. They work well. The cover system for the game is very fluid. You can go into one cover and just hold a button and instantly go to the next cover. It's very simple and nice because it you run fastest when you're running to cover. It's very smart to do that. And with the story spanning from 9 to 8 hours long, you're going to have a lot of fun. The multiplayer in the game is pretty decent. It's, you know, it's just regular team deathmatch and capture the flag and you have all those other options. But let's get down to the verdict for this game. After all this, I believe this game deserves an 8.7. It's nice, fluid, and I believe you should go ahead and give this game a try. It's beautiful and sweet. 